so worried in this bathroom. Yeah, I don't know why it's like that. Waiting for more people. Let's hope these people show up. Mrs. is on. Do you remember me? Nope. Please. Try not to. I like your hair. I don't know how to change my name. You go to the Bureau for Vital Statistics and you say, I want to change my name. Where's that at? Downtown Cincinnati or downtown Hamilton. No, for Zoom. Ah. Well, you, you, you rechange your name every time I see you, so today is reconnecting. It was reconnecting last time. It's been that. It's not letting me change it. No, I last time it was Science 8. Science 8. Don't worry about it, as long as you identify who you are. Where is Bakoven at? No Bakoven. I think something happened because she was there this morning and then she messaged me asking me what bell we were in. So I think she's a little confused with the schedule. Yeah, oh, great. I'll send her a message. With I haven't seen Our Connor Ray, no Layla, no Max. They might be coming. Oh. They, they've been to all the other classes. The only one that hasn't been here is Jalen and Jalen. Miss Greg? Yeah. Can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> well, hey, Miss Greg. Know, can you? You're in your own house. Your hair. Oh, so it came Hurry up. up. We got a quiz, lady. Okay. Thank you. I'm Where's Celeste? Did Joseph come back? I feel like nope. he kind of dropped off after language arts. He didn't come to math. Great. Okay, guys. Let's get started because it's going to take a minute for some people to get through this. So here's the thing. Let me go to my screen. Share. Share. So by tomorrow, you need to have your choice boards submitted. So literally when you go in here into your Earth's Constructive Destructive, this choice board, okay, I'll go to somebody's like bell seven. So let's go to Caitlin's. So there's her choice board. You guys are gonna need to submit this, saying that you are done with your choice board. All of these should be filled in. Now, obviously, like Caitlin, she gets a little bit more time because she was absent, but the goal is to have these done by tomorrow. I think, Ty, I think you're completely done. Since you're completely done, you want to hit submit. So, like, all of your things have grades. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you want to hit submit, okay? So when you're done with all the tasks, you guys want to hit submit. And then today, we're going to go ahead and do your test. Your test is open note, open internet, whatever, okay? I don't care. Your test is in this folder, Earth's Constructive Forces, and you want to click on Final Task, Earth's Surface Test. Your password is water. W-A-T-E-R. Now, it is your choice whether or not you want your test read to you, and this goes for everyone. So if you would rather just go on your own and kind of like finish this on your own time, as in start now and then work through it as long as you can't want to, that's fine as long as you get it done by tomorrow. Or if you want to stay online and have it read to you, then you can stay online and Mrs. Val or Ms. Gray have volunteered to read the test to y'all. Okay? Which, so, which task is this? That, that was nice. The one me. on the screen. Yeah. 
Okay. What's the password, guys? Okay, I was guys? gone. I had to go to the bathroom. Can you explain? Aqua. Hey, what are we doing? Earth's it's water. It's water. Oh, and you're doing the final task, Earth Surface Test A. Before, um, Make sure you submit your choice board. So, like, Ty, he's done with all his tasks. So he can submit his choice board. I'm pretty sure I did this already. Pretty sure you did what? The test. Didn't we already do this? Wow, that would be amazing. That would be amazing, but I'm pretty sure we already did this. Okay, Maybe. then, no, you know, probably not. you can always like, ignore me. What are we doing? So, okay. final task, Earth surface test A. Password is water. Oh, the test. So if you want to stay on, that means that Ms. Gray is going to read it to you. If you don't stay on, that means that you're going to keep working it on, on it on your own until you finish. If you don't finish today, you can finish it tomorrow, but it has to be done by tomorrow, end of the day. 2.45 by tomorrow. Okay. Questions? All right, you guys ready to have your test read to you? Okay, the questions go in order and you're allowed right. to look up the answers oh. if you need them. Hold on, I, I will. I have a question. Yes. Wait, so if I don't want it read to me, do I stay on here or do I leave? I well, if you don't want it read, then you know, you hit mute or you leave. Ah, okay, I'm a little slow, Never mind. Don't worry about it. Never mind. All right, is everybody else ready to get started? Yeah? All right, I'm just gonna read, and unless somebody interrupts me and tells me to slow down, I'm just gonna keep going through it, all right? Okay. So, question one. It says, draw an X on the highest point of the mountain in the map below. Draw a circle around the lowest point of the lake on the map below. So you'll just click the red box and literally do what it says. Draw the red X. Two, there should be two X's, or one X and one circle, sorry. Don't copy, I'm just showing you how, it does, how it's done. It's like, uh. <laughs> All right, we good with that? No. No, okay. I'll wait. Yeah, I'm not done. Okay. Layla, do you know what we're doing? Um, it looks like something's just uh school with you so i'm assuming that's where i start we're taking the test right now oh, oh. Uh, water i was late because my friend's dog got a hold of something of mine and we chased him around the whole house <laughs> no and i landed on my oh, Layla, we're taking a test so go ahead and get on the test because these people are waiting for us to get to the next question so you can either stay online and take the test or you can go ahead and log off, but you still have to take the test. All right. Password's water. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start with number two. If any point in time you guys need to go back to the beginning, we'll just do it at the end, okay? So number two, your um, words are contour interval, contour line and relief. First definition is the difference in elevation between the highest and lowest parts of an area. The next one is the difference in elevation from one contour line to the next. And the last one is a line on a topographic map that connects points of the same elevation. And um, it's open note. I won't, because then I could go down and have them if I'm checking. <laughs> <clears throat> All 
Number three, a student filled two trays with an equal amount of sand. The student poured a cup of water onto the top of one tray. Then the, stu the student then poured a bucket of water onto the top of the other tray. What would most likely be observed? The cup of water would cause more erosion than the bucket of water. The bucket of water would cause more erosion than the cup of water or the cup of water and the bucket of water would, would not cause any erosion. Um, can you slow down a little? Yep. You got your screen, right, Miss Val? Yes. Okay. All right, we good to move on, guys? Ty, we good? Yeah. All right. Number four, Marley has a vegetable garden in her yard. During a storm, heavy rain falls. The rain runs over the garden and some of the soil is washed away. Which term best describes this movement of soil from one place to another? Is it erosion, discharge, or weathering? Number five, which statement correctly describes groundwater? Water that is not moving? water on Earth's surface or water below Earth's surface? Good? Yeah. All right, thanks. Number six, Emily used a tray filled with dirt as a model of a stream. Emily poured water onto the top of the tray and observed how much erosion happened. Emily then increased the slope of the tray and repeated the experiment. What would happen when the slope of the tray in increased? The speed of the water and the amount of erosion would increase. The speed of the water and amount of erosion would decrease or the speed of the water would decrease while the amount of erosion would increase. Good? All right, number seven. The diagram below shows a landform called a sinkhole. How does a sinkhole form? A flowing stream in the mountain and the mountains erodes sediment and the ground caves in. Underground water erodes rock to form a cavern and over time the cavern's roof collapses. Or a flowing stream erodes soil and rock making the stream deeper and wider. Number eight, what happens when a stream slows down? The stream has more energy for, ero for erosion, the stream picks up more sediment, or the stream deposits sediment. So that's when the stream starts to slow down. Number nine, the diagram below shows the path of a river. Uh, what is the feature labeled at A called? So here's the river. Oh, I can't show you. The river's like obviously all connected and then there's a little part that's not connected. This was one of your vocab words. Uh, is it alluvial fan, 
Remainder or Oxbow Lake? <laughs> you all right, Ty? All right, number 10. Water can cause weathering, erosion, and deposition, which provides an example of water causing the weathering of rock, acid rain, formation of a floodplain, or a rock landslide. Is on this for is on this for ten? Um, yeah, that was for ten. All right. Number eleven: landslides, rock falls, and mudslides are responsible for both erosion and deposition. What force is mainly responsible for erosion and deposition that happens in landslides, rock falls, and mudslides? So what is the force? Is it ice, wind, or gravity? <laughs> Number 12, which of the following is a type of mass movement caused by gravity? I hate this word. <laughs> it's not how you say that. Lois, lo Los, glacier, or mudslide? Well, you know that's not the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that one as an answer, guys. Right. All right, 13. In places where there is loose sediment and strong wind, the wind can pick up sediment and carry it. When the wind slows, it deposits the sediment. Which type of sediment will be dropped first as the wind slows? The lightest sediment, the smallest sediment, or the heaviest sediment? Fourteen, which term best describes how weathering changes Earth's surface? Does it build up, builds it up? creates or wears down? Everybody good? Good? All right. 15, which type of map would be most helpful, no, would be most useful to study the shape and size of erosional land features? Would you use a political map, a road map, or a topographic map? Sixteen, it says look at the topographic map below. Which letter represents the peak of the mountain? So you'll see there's an A, B, C, or D, but you're only going to pick either A, B, or C. Which one it represents the peak? Seventeen, which provides the best example of a topographic map? And then just look at your choices there. Which one shows topographic map? All right, 18, it says look at the topographic map below. Which labeled point on this map has the highest elevation? A, B, or C? Uh, number 19, look at the topographic map below. What is the contour interval of this map? Use the index contours and assume the elevation units are in feet. 
your choices are two, five, or 10. So you're trying to figure out what do those lines represent, how much? I'll give a little bit of this one. Good. Yeah, all right. Number 20. What do the hatcher lines on the inside of this contour loop indicate? Is it the highest elevation level, a depression, or a body of water? Twenty one. Um, if north is at the top of the page, what direction is the river flowing? South, west, or north? All right, we got some vocab words in here. We got deflation. Oh, let me read the top. What process of erosional features is probably the cause of these? So we have deflation, sand dune formation, meanders, and landslides. Which one causes deposition due to wind? The other one is force of gravity. wind erosion and water erosion and deposition. Twenty three. We still good. Everybody with me? Yeah. Where would a delta be found? Where the river flows into a large body of water or where the river starts from a large body of water? Next, we have chemical weathering, mechanical weathering, deposition, and erosion. Which one is the type of weathering in which rock is physically broken into smaller pieces? Which kind of weathering? Shh, don't say it, they're taking a test. The next one is the process by which water, ice, wind, or gravity moves weathered rock and soil. Next one is the process in which sediment is laid down in new locations. And the last one is the process that breaks down rock through chemical changes. Twenty five. We got that last one a little long. Everybody get that finished. Okay. Water from the Pacific Ocean erode eroding the sides of Mount Kilauea. What kind of force? This is what kind of force? Is it constructive or destructive? Twenty six. What does B represent in the picture below? Does it represent the contour line, the contour interval, or a mountaintop?
All right, 27. So there's nothing for me to read except for this first sentence. Match each topographical map to its appropriate land formation. So you're just going to look down at the pictures and try to match them up with what you think goes with what. Is the pictures that are already on there, are those from like an like a overhead view? And then these are from a side view? So that's yes. like your top, yeah, your topographic map, yeah, overhead. Mm -hmm. How are we doing? We good? Two more questions left, guys. Uh, number 28, what does the C represent in the picture below? Does it represent a relief, a contour line, or a contour interval? And lastly, match the elevations with each of the following points. So you're going to look at A, and you're going to choose 1,500, 900, or 1,000 for A, B, and C. And that's all guys. You that's feel good all. about it? Submit it if you have any questions. Okay. Yeah, what's up, Jenna? Can I come down to your room so that you could check my answers? Sure. Okay. Just make sure you guys you submit your choice boards if you guys are done. Okay. Okay. You guys have a good break. Me too. Yay. Bye guys. Bye. 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 Bye.